Unfortunately, we don't have the metabolisms of children, so getting costume ready this Halloween can be a little tough. Totally, and that's why celebrity fitness trainer Alex, how do you say your last name? Carnado. Carnado. <laughs> that's a tough one. That's do you a, get people ask me to say that again? And yeah, yeah, yeah. It's normal. Well, guys, he's here to whip us into shape, and he's here to get you feeling and looking costume ready for Halloween. So you're saying that taking the kids trick or treating is not enough? Oh, it's a form of exercise. You know, you, the parents can walk, the kids can eat. I, okay. They got the metabolism. So I have to admit, whenever you take the kids out uh, trick or treating, you dig your hands in there and start eating a little oh. few pieces of the Candy? It's called the mom tax. That's okay. Oh, that's the mom, it's right? Called. It's the mom tax. Uh, <laughs> all right. So um, after the break, we're going to actually get into some of these exercises. But tell us a little bit about some exercises um, that are really good uh, to do in a short amount of time. Because Halloween is only what, like a week a and a half away. Yeah. Yeah, seriously. So we want to do exercises that use more than one muscle at the same time. Okay. That way we can burn more calories, work the same muscles uh, more simultaneously, and get the best bang for your buck with the little less time. Okay. Okay, so you're working more body parts at the same time. So like we're looking at a whole body workout. Absolutely, So yeah. instead of just like doing like the glutes, maybe you do something that includes a whole core. Oh, the glutes and core can be involved actually in one exercise combined. So, and I'm she's listening. gonna be doing that later. <laughs> I, know. I, um, I volunteered. Yeah, she did volunteer, I'm excited for that. <laughs> But yeah, so exercises I get is moving, full body, you know, after all our Halloween costumes need to look good from all angles. So Absolutely. we got to make sure that the whole body's work. Yeah, it's so true. It's just not the way it looks like from, from the front. Sometimes mm -hmm. you got to take a look at the back. Right. But that, <laughs> <laughs> the back is very important, Dee. Uh -huh. uh, all right. So do we mix that up with then like cardio? Yeah, so cardio is a very important aspect of, you know, exercise and healthy well-being. So uh, these exercises, the beauty of them is that you can do them in a circuit form. Mm -hmm. So that way you don't have to do cardio. You right. can combine them, do them fast, and then that way, you know, you get your strength and conditioning and your cardio at the same time. Right. And you know what? My problem is not going to the gym and working out. Like, I, I can do that. My problem is the food, though. Yeah, the food is always a challenge for everyone, but, you know, it's just a combination of healthy living that, you know, okay. balance. balance is always a key word here. Balance. So you can have that one piece of pizza, but maybe, like, once a week, not twice a day. All right, what are some <laughs> tips that you give people um, about nutrition? Well, balance is the most important you know, tip. Yeah. You know, I always tell people, you know, don't assume that I'm some monk that doesn't eat things that I enjoy. Right. I have a balance where, you know, I work out with an 80-20 rule. I do e everything at 80% of what I want to do, and then the 20 gives me a little bit of freedom to, you know, eat the pizza that everyone okay. says they want to eat and, you know, yeah. and the bacon and all that stuff. As long as I'm doing 80% of the things right on a daily basis, I allow myself a 20% the so little So do you, do you agree with those, those diets that say absolutely no bread? cut out all the carbs or they're like you're just eating vegetables no protein or anything mm. are those bad I don't, for you i never preach any diets okay. you know people are always saying i'm on a diet but what happens when you're off a diet right right so you can't sustain on a long term a diet forever i feel so, like i've been on a diet my whole life yeah. <laughs> it's, <laughs> a, it's supposed to be a lifestyle not a diet right it's exactly that's right it's a lifestyle you know you can enjoy your bread you can enjoy your slice of pizza mm -hmm. you can enjoy a drink here once in a while but you know, make sure that you know eighty percent of your day is still attributed right. towards the habits that help you live a healthier and you know better lifestyle. And what kind of food is that? And, you know, those are usually the complex carbs like oatmeal, sweet potatoes, fruits. A lot of people say, "Oh, fruits are bad." Fruits are not bad for you. Right. Uh, vegetables, as far as the carbs, lean proteins. If you're a vegan, you know, plant proteins and uh, lentils and supplements. Mm -hmm. And then, really important, the healthy fats. The healthy fats actually will take care of our skin, our hair, avocados. our nails, avocados, peanut butter. Peanut butter. That's one hundred percent right. Yeah. I love those that. Make us look good and glow, you know. So a lot of people have this idea that fats are bad. Fats are not bad. Okay. I don't eliminate anything from a diet. Everything just has to be well moderated. I like that. Moderation. You don't eliminate anything. Mm -hmm. That's perfect. Just moderation. High five on that. Oh. I love it. Because that's the first thing I want when I eliminate something. It's you the want first. what you can't have. Exactly. exactly. And it makes it harder. Exactly. Yep. All right. Now you put out tips and tricks every day on your social media. Tell people where to follow you. They can follow me on Alex Conier underscore. Very simple and easy. Very easy. All right. After the break. We're going to be coming back and we're going to be doing some exercises. I'm very excited. We're going to work in those uh, arms, core, glutes, every, everything.